I've been involved in lung cancer research for 30 years, and major advances have really happened in about the last nine years, since the turn of the century. I have some patients who are alive today, eight years after having received gefitinib, a pill that they take once a day on a clinical trial that was designed to help patients who had terminal lung cancer. So there are some patients that are still alive now, and now in retrospect we've begun to piece together the molecular basis for that unique sensitivity. Well, this observation really launched a revolution in oncology that is occurring in lung cancer, in breast cancer, and a number of other malignancies, where we're no longer relying on nonspecific and fairly toxic chemotherapy. Chemotherapy remains an important cornerstone for the treatment of the majority of malignancies in adult patients. But now this new area of developing biologically targeted agents and testing them in patients with specific subsets of lung cancer, breast cancer, and colon cancer. The clinical trial really offers them the best opportunity not only to undergo treatment with standard therapy in which they will be very closely monitored, usually more closely monitored than a patient receiving that same standard treatment off of a clinical trial, but they have an opportunity to receive the new experimental agent that often is added to standard treatment to try to improve their chances of responding, of benefiting, and improve their chances of survival. There's no question that the bulk of our research continues to be applied to patients with advanced malignancies, especially those for whom traditional treatment options have failed. That represents the patients who have the greatest need. So we need, we need funds, we need organization, and here at Cedar sinai we're in the process of developing what we believe will be a world-class cancer institute. We have an institute director, Dr. Stephen Piantadosi, who's a recognized world leader and who is charged with pulling together all the individual pieces at Cedars to filling in the blanks that we don't have by thoughtful recruitment of other basic scientists and clinical investigators so that the whole is much more important and functional than the individual pieces would be and to pull this together so that we have a world-class cancer institute that serves not only the Los Angeles community, but the greater global community that would consider Cedar sinai as one of the primary cancer-fighting institutions in the world.